So you might be trying to figure out how you can change your PIN or your password on your Android phone. Now, doing this is very basic. It really doesn't take too much time. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go and make our way over to our settings application on our Android phone. Then what we want to do here is you want to go ahead and click on the little option down when we start scrolling down a little bit. It should say security and privacy. So what we can do is click on security and privacy. It's going to tell us some things here and there but we're going to want to find the option that says device lock. Now, if we have a stock Android phone, this is the way. If you have like one UI or something, it might be a little bit different. So find the specific one that works well for you in your specific situation. Go and click on device lock and you can go ahead and set up whether you want to screen lock or you want to face and fingerprint unlock. In this case, if we want to change our pin, we want to click on screen lock and then you'll come into this panel. Now, what you're going to want to do here is you want to specify exactly which specific thing you want to go ahead and change to. So right now I don't have anything set up, but if I wanted to go and set up a pattern, I can go and click on pattern or pin, and I can select a pin or pattern that I want. So here if I want, if I want to go and change, use my password that I usually would use, actually not on Android anymore, but like I can go and set this up. And from here, what I can do is I can go and have it to show all notifications, whatever. So now whenever I go and lock my phone, all I have to do is swipe up, type in my password, which would be this one. And then I can go and use my phone as I normally would. Now, if I want to change it again, I can go and tap onto there. I can change my pin. I can change it to none. I can change it to pin. I can change whatever I want to, but that's basically how it's done. It's a very, very basic process. If you want, I would also probably recommend making sure that that notification thing that comes up where it says specify which notifications you want, make sure you specify that to the area in which you actually prefer, because if you don't, that may end up causing some issues too. So. That pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.